so much I want to just share with you. Like all of this is so simple, but it was just like a I just got ready because I'm gonna head out to meet a friend for brunch, but before I go, I wanted to shout out Orate for sponsoring this video. I love partnering with Orate because I have been rocking their pieces every single day. I just think they're the best fine jewelry brand out there right now with the best pricing. Quality is at the forefront of everything Orate makes, so they use premium quality goods. Like, they use real diamonds, real gold, all sustainably and ethically sourced and they offer fair pricing it's really hard to pick my favorites but i have to say this gold herringbone chain has not left my wrist for i want to say like a month and a half now this is just my go-to bracelet i've also been wearing this pearl aura necklace non-stop and it's really pretty when i layer it with other gold necklaces i've also been reaching for this open link ring a lot and this looks really good when it's combined and stacked with other gold rings and lastly i have these gold hoops i do have another 30 percent off discount code for you feel free to use my code freesia when you check out orateneworkcom and all the links will be in the description we're going out to Frogtown. It's just a cute little area by the LA River, and there's a bunch of cafes and lunch spots. So we're gonna grab food quickly, and then there's also a ceramic sale going on. And lately I've been living and breathing ceramic, so uh, I wanna check it out to see what these ceramicists sell. Karting for a friend's birthday, and the theme is Fast and Furious or Mario Kart. So oh, we're right. Dom and Letty. <laughs>
there's like so much I want to just share with you. So TLDR, if you don't want to stick around to listen to the whole thing. I've been feeling really lost since I quit my job and became a full-time YouTuber. I've tried a lot of different hobbies. I traveled a lot. I distracted myself. Now I'm at a place where I'm really excited and I'm really happy. So there's a happy ending to all of this. This whole year, that question has been the number one thing on my mind. Like, what am I doing? What am I doing with my life? No matter how much I try to look for answers in external things, like traveling, material possessions and different activities I wasn't really finding any sort of answer or fulfillment I feel like I was meant to be on this earth to do many things and I finally have accepted that that used to be such a pain point for me I even shared in a recent vlog that I felt so lost because I feel like I was good at a lot of things but not an expert at one thing and I am fully accepting now that that is my superpower. I can be a jack of all trades. I can be a modern renaissance woman. I can do a lot of different things at once. Who says I need to just be one thing and one thing only? And I think my new journey with ceramics has actually helped me realize that. If you follow me on IG, you might have seen my random ceramics journey <laughs> and the start of all that. Low key, my ceramics is going viral. And while going viral isn't the point, I think it's more just validation for me and a good push for me to pursue that as a new, I guess, hobby. Not just a hobby, but like a business and a territory that I can be in, right? And I also have this like matcha thing coming up, plus my existing love for YouTube and content creation. Like, why can't I do all of it? Like, I totally can and I don't know why I've been like boxing myself in. I really just think I'm one of these creative people that like to dip my toes in a lot of different avenues and if I can make a living off of them like what the hell that's the dream right I think I really just need to pursue anything that makes me happy and just coexist with them like all of this is so simple but it was just like a epiphany for me and I don't know I just feel so much more hopeful and happy now having accepted that. It's been almost two months since I started ceramics. I started with the four week class at my local ceramics studio for hand building only because I have an obsession with tin fish. I decided to make a tin fish chopstick holder set and I've gotten many requests for me to sell them, which is like, Oh my God, are you serious? People want to buy, buy my stuff? stuff? So I'm in the process of figuring out how to run a whole ass ceramics business and I bought myself a kiln because I already know I'm in love with this hobby. If I can just fire things at my own pace, then that would be freaking awesome. Okay, I've never been so excited about a purchase. This is definitely a splurge but I also see it as an investment because I'm using it to produce more product. And here she is. She's so small. I have my own kiln. I really just felt like this was the way to go because I'm paying studio fees. That all adds up real quick and I can just start doing this from home. So that's just me. Freaking amazing. She's a little dusty though, so I have to wipe her down. But this is the Olympic 129E. So for now, I put this like right next to a door so I can keep it open while this is fired up. I think this might be an okay spot for now. It's not aesthetically pleasing because it's kind of like just out in the hallway, but whatever, that's small business life. And I'm so happy I have a kiln. Jean is out of town for work, so I've just been by myself this week, and I've got to say, it's been very quiet. <laughs> it's been so difficult for me to keep myself organized lately. I really, and I don't say this lately, I feel like I have ADHD, like some form of it, and it's been getting noticeably worse. As soon as I'm like, okay, I'm gonna start working on this, I start thinking about all the other things that I wanna do or need to do, and then I get immediately distracted and I have to like pursue that next 
thought immediately. And then once I'm pursuing that next thought, I'm like, oh my gosh, wait, I, I was doing something else before. Let me go back to that. And then I'll have another thought and then I'll go back to it and start doing that thing. And then I'll completely forget about the original thing that I was doing. And it's just this like vicious cycle of never getting anything done. It used to not be this way, but lately it's just been this way and I don't understand what's going on. It's like ADHD, something you develop or something you're born with. Do I have any viewers that are psychiatrists? <laughs> but yeah, it's just, it's been really, really hard to, to get organized. I finally redid and reorganized the entryway because it had just been like a cluttered mess. I have this boxy Ikea shoe cabinet from my last apartment. It was where you guys are right now. I don't know, it just wasn't the vibe and it took up a lot of floor space. And then I found exactly what I was looking for at Hay Design. It's the most sleek and simple entryway table and they have multiple sizes. I got the size medium, I believe. And what's cool about it also is that it has hooks tucked away. There's like four hooks underneath so I could put like our shoe horn here if I wanted to even though it looks kind of weird. <laughs> Little improvements go a long way. I also got my glazed ceramics back. This was in the latest batch. I made this little catch-all dish and I just freestyled the shape, but it kind of looks like a, a bike seat. I also made this wall hook for the entryway. I cannot take credit for the design. I actually found something exactly like this online, but it was a little out of my budget. So I was like, might as well just make my own. I think this would be nice to just replace the command hook that we put Rufus's leash on. Wow. It's the night of our two year anniversary. <laughs> And Jean is away for work right now, but he still sent some flowers. We'll, we'll do all of our celebrating tomorrow, but yeah, that pretty much wraps up this vlog and I will see you guys in the next one.